Welcome to LPG Studios. My name is Pablo Garcia. I'm from Buenos Aires, Argentina, and I live in Barranquilla, Colombia. And I'll be trying to teach you how to use a compressor in QAs5 in a proper way in a musical uh, environment. So, in here, as you can see, I have already a track, a song with all the tracks, and this one, Pablo 1, is the one that I'm going to use the uh, compressor in. I'll let you hear a little bit of the song so you have an idea of what we're doing. Okay, I'm put it in solo so you have, you can listen to the differences. Remember the compressor is not something that you can uh, tell that much that is there, but it makes a big difference. So, in order to put in the compressor, you can select in here, click edit channel settings and insert in here or you can do it in here directly so let's select uh, dynamics remember this is a dynamic effect and compressor so we have the compressor and we will do it in the manual way not automatic so the threshold is fine the ratio is fine too listen to this you see it's lowering but I need it louder so the makeup gain is gonna help us in there so we move it a little bit up and listen to that again that's better okay so in here you see already has a gate and effects for the voice and with the compressor we are helping this track to go up in the mix to be heard more than the others so uh, I'm gonna let you listen the whole thing the whole mix with the compressor now and you can adjust it if you notice that it's not enough so this will be a good level for the compressor. Okay, so remember, you can use the compressor by clicking in here in the E and then you select what the compressor you want. Remember, it's a dynamic effect, and then you can use the compressor. I hope you like this lesson and see you next week.